Welcome to Euro PCR 2018. My name is Darren Mylott and I'm an interventional cardiologist from Galway in Ireland. I'm joined today by Professor Ran Karnowski from Israel. Welcome, uh, Ran. Hello, Darren. And our topic today is um, patient reported outcome measures. Ran, what is a patient reported outcome measure? Actually, these are the measure as reported by the patient, not necessarily by the physician and uh, patients have their own expectations uh, about uh, medical intervention and we should be tuned to their uh, expectation and the way they perceive uh, medical uh, intervention and procedure. Uh, mostly positive uh, feedbacks by the patient, not necessarily negative feedbacks. So PROMS are measures as reported by patients. Interesting. Is, is, is this a new concept? It's not a new concept, not a totally new concept. It has been around for the last 10-15 years. But uh, I think that for uh, cardiovascular medicine, uh, it has been quite new and there is a lot of room for expansion in terms of adoption of the concept. Uh, we uh, hear that PROMs have been adopted by uh, congestive heart failure clinics, uh, by some other uh, interventional groups, but it's really not widespread. We used to judge the fate of intervention by our own perspective as physicians, mostly by the negative aspect of the intervention. So if, for example, we perform uh, PCI and the patient uh, is uh, undergoing angioplasty and there is no catastrophe so it's labeled as a successful procedure but for the patient uh, they expect more than that they expect the positive impact of the intervention they want to resume their daily activity they want to be free of pain they want to resume their uh, leisure, uh, working habits, sports, they want to do sex, they want to, do ha to be happy. So these are the patient perspectives that we need to capture. Interesting. So, so the, 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 the focus is clearly, clearly on the patient. How, how do physicians measure PROMs? Is this a big sea change for us? There are some validated metrics that can be captured. Uh, these are questionnaires. These should be short questionnaires, about between 10 and 20 questions, not more than that. And uh, quite reproducible in terms of the validity of uh, these questions and the impact of the responses. And I think uh, this should be a simple, straightforward way of uh, measuring the outcomes as again as perceived by the patients. Okay. And tell me in terms of the, 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 the physician, the interventional cardiologist, um, is there any benefit to the interventional cardiologist? Uh, how, does, how, how do measuring PROMs help the interventionist? I think it's very important to know how the patients uh, are doing after the intervention. Uh, whether uh, we can meet their expectations in terms of the potential benefit of the intervention. Uh, and uh, this can be, uh, again, measured by these questionnaires. Uh, these are metrics, so there are numbers. So when you are up, it's better. When you are done, it's less. And I think this also set a better uh, understanding and uh, fine-tuning of the expectation vis-a-vis -vis our patient beforehand when we explain to them what to be ex expected from the intervention. So PROMS can help us explain the procedure, understand how the patient perceives the outcome, um, and, and, and really puts the patient at the forefront of, of, of the intervention that we're doing, which I suppose is, is in line with um, uh, the new president of the EAPCI's vision for the next two years. Andreas Bambach mentioned in his, um, in his speech on Tuesday morning um, that he's forming a new, um, uh, a new group overseen by Fina Mari and Robert Byrne to, to look at patient reported outcomes and I think that this is clearly a welcome development. 
definitely, I think, really prompts put the patient at the front, I would even say at the center. And this is, I think, the future of better evaluating patient benefit from interventional procedure or any cardiovascular interventions. That's great. Thanks for joining me today, Ren. Thank you very much. Thank you.